Escalating tensions in the Strait of Hormuz. New video showing Iran's Revolutionary Guard warning a British naval warship not to interfere as it seized a UK flagged oil tanker. To Fox News correspondent Ellison Barber in Jerusalem now with the details. The Iranian Revolutionary Guard released new video of a British warship being threatened earlier this month. The video includes radio conversation purportedly between Revolutionary Guard forces and the British naval warship, which was in the Strait of Hormuz, escorting a British flagged oil tanker. This is a British warship, Fox 1236. I am in vicinity of an internationally recognized strike with a merchant vessel in my vicinity conducting transit passage. The Revolutionary Guard seized the British tanker on July 19th, presumably in retaliation for the British Navy's role in the seizure of an Iranian tanker off the coast of Gibraltar. In Vienna yesterday, Iran met the remaining signatories of the Iran nuclear deal. A top Iranian official said the discussions were constructive, but things have not been resolved. We will continue to reduce our commitments to the deal until the Europeans secure Iran's interests under the deal. And Iran is reportedly planning to restart activities at a heavy water nuclear reactor. Back to you. Here now, Rebecca Grant, a national security analyst and IRIS founder. Rebecca, great to see you. Um, you, you know, a couple of weeks ago, Secretary of State Mike Pompeo said the Iranians said they were willing to talk. Uh, it doesn't seem like when you see a video like that, that that seems to be the case. Obviously, the situation is very dire, but where does it go from here? Well, the video is shocking because Iran is broadcasting that they are violating the U.N. law of the sea. The key word in that calm there was transit passage. That tanker and that warship have the right to be there. Iran is still trying to use the maritime hassling and the nuclear piece to blackmail the Europeans, split them off from the U.S., and get Europe to just do business as normal with Iran. It's really not working. And so that's why we need to keep the sanctions pressure on. Well, and the president has said he will not remove the sanctions. And in fact, the Iranians have said the only way they'll come to the table to try to have a conversation is if those sanctions are removed. So to me, that seems like a stalemate um, and, and puts the U.S. at least in a pretty tough position. It is a tough position. And Secretary Pompeo has said, you know, it's not about the diplomats talking to Foreign Minister Zarif. Really, they are pointing this at the Ayatollah and at the Revolutionary Guard Corps military commander, Soleimani. Those are the ones with the wealth that are spreading terrorism around the Middle East. And they have to crack and make some movement there because, in the end, we can't reset our forces in the Middle East with this crisis level of activity by Iran.